guys. My name is Brian Humphrey, and I'm a junior from Ogallala High School. When I was a child, I was terrified of the monster under my bed. But now, now I'm afraid of the one inside my head. It's 7 a.m. I force myself to slop on a full face of makeup and some type of publicly acceptable clothing. Everywhere I look, there it is. The monster that never leaves me, constantly nipping at my heels like a blister in a new pair of Sunday school shoes. I sulk in my chair just trying to forget every single thought that went through my head the night before. There it is again, that monster, like a nagging blister, making festering smirks here and there at anyone who will notice its existence. An hour later, walking into my favorite class with my favorite people, the room lights up like a flame from a Bunsen burner. I'm enjoying myself now, but one glance behind and I encounter the monster again. Before I know it, that monster, the blister on my heel, is the one cracking the jokes. Come, come and see how it makes everyone laugh, makes everyone smile, how it makes everyone's day so much brighter. Maybe it's not so bad. By lunchtime, I'm on a high. Everybody loves me. Everybody's laughing at my jokes. There it is again, in the corner of the room, smiling as if it is winning. Is it winning, or is that me? At 2 p.m., I am sorry. The monster in me is totally different than at night. The 2 p.m. monster is kind and wild, not scared of anything or anyone. It's fearless. Followed by friends and looked up to by so many young ones, so inviting and warm. The 2 p.m. monster loves all and is loved by all. It's not like the other monsters with their frightening spear-like teeth and their dagger-like tails. No, this monster is far worse than that. This monster is a sham, a fake, a hoax. Come, come at 2 a.m. and see the real monster at work. Come, see what it does to me. Watch how it engulfs all of the good in my life and makes it all disappear. The 2 a.m. monster terrifies me so much that when it comes, I hide under the covers like a scared little girl, waiting, waiting for it to attack. Some nights it comes more fiercely than others. Some nights it leaves me broken and helpless in my bed, my comfort zone. Other times it teases me, telling me that I'm worthless and that I have no reason to live. Come. Come at 2 a.m. and see the real monster. The monster inside my head. Woo!